Hello everyone, my name is PythonGB, welcome to the first episode of a brand new Terraria class playthrough. For those of you who are unaware or are new to my channel, I have so far done two class playthroughs of Terraria. I've done the Ranger playthrough very recently, and back in the day I also did the Warrior playthrough, otherwise known as the Melee playthrough. So obviously we have two classes remaining, we have the Magic slash Mage playthrough, and of course we have the Summoner playthrough to go through as well. And I should probably clarify, I wasn't actually going to do another one of these until after after 1.3 was released, but unfortunately, I discovered on the Terraria forums today that Senex, one of the uh, lead developers of Terraria, was saying that the Terraria 1.3 update, unfortunately, won't be out for a small while yet. Uh, she was saying it won't be released in either February or March, so, you know, we do have a fairly hefty amount of time before that happens. So, you know, I thought, eh, maybe we could sneak in another class playthrough. So without further ado, it is time to see what the class playthrough itself shall be. Ooh, what's it gonna be, my friends? The Summoner or the Mage playthrough? And in three, two, one, boom! There we go. It appears to be the Mage playthrough. I'm actually really looking forward to this one. This is the playthrough I have been looking forward to most to play because I absolutely love the massive range of magic weapons in Terraria. And that, of course, means the Summoner playthrough will be the final class playthrough of Terraria for me. So, let's go ahead and get into the character creation for our first episode of the Mage playthrough, my friends. Alrighty guys, here we go, we've got the mage character right here, and he's blue to kind of match the class colour thing. Huh. Anyway, we have it on medium core as per the other playthroughs, and without further ado, we are going to get on with creating ourselves a new small world, because obviously small is easier to get around, and I'll probably use a large world for my new 1.3 LP, just so we've got more things to explore, I guess. But here we go, mage world. Please let it be a corruption world. Please let it be a corruption world. If we get a corruption world, we can have the vile thorn. Please. What the, did I just see that? I think I might have a corruption world. Ooh. I think I saw making the world evil during that. Oh, the phone. I think this could be a good start. All right, buddy. Here we go. So we've got to keep clicking help until it talks about shadow orbs. Shadow orbs. Nope. 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 <laughs> Much things such wow. Oh wow, look at all this. Strong monster, hell yeah. Bombs, yeah. Grappling hooks, yeah. That's interesting. Pot, yeah. Chests. Shadow Warp, there we go. We have definitely got a corruption mod. I am a happy bunny, my friends. I am a happy bunny because that means we can have the Vile Thorn in this world. That is amazing. It is one of the best pre-hard mode magic weapons in the game, in my opinion, anyway. Does a bunch of damage and, of course, pierces through walls and still hits enemies, which is awesome. So, what have we got going here? Uh, short sword. Obviously, you can't use that. No melee weapons allowed. Right, I think the first port of call is actually to try and find the dungeon, right? Because there is a small possibility that we can find the water bolt on the surface, so... Hmm, this could certainly be interesting. Right, snow biome. Alright, okay, I have no idea which side the... We, which side the dungeon is on, obviously. Hmm, right. Hey there! Oh, Much vase, such wow. Look at this, got acorns and... Healing potions and for some reason arrows. Obviously we can't use them, so we're just going to wind up selling them. Hello. Right, okay, we've got to try and uh, navigate our way over all of this crap. Oh, nice. Okay, let me just uh, let me just make it a wee bit easier for myself. Ah, ah, whoa. You stay away from me, sunshine. Right, okay, let's keep going. Hello, snow. Ah, ah. Okay, all good in the hood. Right, okay. So here's what I'm hoping we get. I'm really hoping we get recall potions. If we get recall potions, then we won't have any issues getting back to spawn, obviously. Uh, that is a big-ass pond. Or lake. Or river. I don't know how rivers would work in this game, because obviously, you kind of need it to be 3D, right? You know, it would be like a stream going through the places and such. I don't know. Right, okay. Hmm, no sign of torches. That is bad. Right, can I get up there? Nope, I cannot. Right, okay. Let's go ahead and make a way up there. There we go. Good stuff. Let's carry on, shall we? Hello, trees. Right. Good day. Good day. Ha! I am staying away from you, sunshine. Oh, iron. Yes, that'll be useful. Because uh, as a backup plan, if we don't manage to get the water bolt, we can always go for a staff. Now, obviously, staffs are brand new in 1.2. They're pretty damn awesome. 
Come on, buddy. Get out of the way so I can smash this vase. There we go. Right. Ah! Two torches. Right, now I can see what's going on. I might be able to find some uh, chests if I am lucky. Hello. Ha! Ah, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> this is going to be a bit finicky. Oh, a chest. Oh, an aglet. Huh. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. And some, and some uh, more torches. Right, okay. Anything else going on down here? Would be nice to have a bunch more stuff. Yeah, you know how it is. Hey, buddy! Hmm, shine potions. They will definitely be useful, especially for nighttime. Right. Because <clears throat> so obviously, I don't think torches are going to be in very high supply if we don't manage to find any magic weapons. Uh, what is this? Hard aglet. Uh, quick aglet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put the hard one on just so we have some defense at the very least. Right, okay. Yeah, anything else from the trolley? Uh, oh, another one. Recall potions. Damn it, there's no recall potions. I can't believe it. Got a boomerang. I guess that's kind of cool. Right, okay. <laughs> Look how there's just a demon or just floating in the middle there. That's pretty funny, actually. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. We're going to grab this tungsten. Basically, if we find any reasonably high-end pre-hard mode ores, then we're going to go and grab them just so we can have an attempt at making the staffs because I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have... Uh, what the hell? Is that demon eye I can see down in the bottom bottom left? I have no idea. Let's go down there. It is demon eye. Huh, interesting. Interesting stuff indeed, good sir. Right, okay. Let's carry on. I think there's some uh, other ore right next to it. I guess we're going to grab that. Ah, dear. We don't have any recoil potions. That sure would be useful. As in, for real, would be very, very useful, my friends. Then we could, like, do some other things and stuff. And I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I completely forgot. My mind went completely blank as I was constructing that sentence. That is how good I am, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, truth be told, I actually haven't made a video in quite a few days, and that's because I've actually been suffering from, uh, quite a, quite a nasty sort of load of nausea. And obviously, you know, it's, it's not something I really want to talk about in case people are eating or something. I haven't thrown up, I just feel like I need to gag all the time, which is kind of bad. So, uh, yeah, that's why I've had the last few days off. Uh, but obviously if you know around here, then you probably won't even care about the story, so... Yes, I will spare you the boredom. Indeed. Right, what have we got going? Stone. Good. Right, now we can get out. There we go. Big parkour gains. Right, okay. Ooh, a pretty substantial amount of cobweb. That will be useful. Please, please do give me. If there's 35 pieces, I will be able to do many things. Hmm. Right, okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. I would like more than this, my friends. More would be very nice. Let me just take a glass of water really quick. Ooh. There we go. Right, how much have we got so far? 17! Yeah, that's not going to be enough, is it? Not not in this little stack. Oh, there's some more down the bottom there. Ooh. This is a good start. By all accounts, this is a good start, my friends. There we go. Hey, now we have enough to make a bed. Now we can sleep. Fantastic. And set our own spawn points so in case we die, we don't always wind up at spawn right next to the snow biome, which of course isn't the safest place to be at night now, is it? Right, okay. Oh my god, we've got 311 ropes. That is a crazy amount. Right, okay. We could definitely get out of here with ease. At least I hope so, anyway. Come on. There we go. Let's get out of here. I don't need to be down here for any, any longer than I need to be. Right. There we go. Anything over here? By any chance? I don't think there is. I might just chuck a torch up there. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, onwards. Get back to the surface, I guess. And then we're going to continue trying to find the dungeon. Because that will be a cool idea. Uh, oh, that's going to annoy me. Don't have two loads of ropes next to each other. That's just so annoying. I don't know why I find it so annoying, but it just is. I don't know if it's an OCD thing or just me being dumb. Alright, okay. I don't, this could be like a go-to cave, right? I, I see no reason why it can't be. Ow, you jerk. Right, okay. Carrying on. Let's go up here. Right, if the jungle is here, then we're going to have to try and make our way all the way back to spawn. And that, my friends, is going to be a major pain in the butthole. And you know that buttholes aren't very nice now, don't you? Mmm. Right, okay. Why the hell am I talking about buttholes? This is supposed to be a PG channel. <laughs> oh. Oh dear, toilet humour. Very bad toilet humour if that. I don't even know why I'm calling it humour. It just isn't, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm so drab about myself, god damn it. Right, okay, boom, there we go, mushrooms, fantastic stuff, my friends. Okay, 
Come on, buddy. Please don't let the jungle be over here. Oh, we have ourselves a, a desert. Might be a good idea to grab ourselves some sand. Just to make some bottles later on. Uh, don't have any use for cactus. Obviously, we're not making the uh, normal armor. Uh, what is the first magical set of armor? That would be meteor or jungle. Something like that. Ancient cobalt? One of them three. Right, okay. Might have to make myself some lower tier armor in the meantime. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, there's no restrictions as to the armor I can use, but obviously the weapons are restricted to mage slash magic weapons only. I don't know, it might be worth making a, a very low-end sort of tier of armor until we manage to get our first proper set. I don't know. I think that would be a good idea. Hello, Mr. Slime. Get out of here, you stupid idiot. Please let there be. Regal potions. Fantastic. Good. All oh, right. I am a happy bunny right now. I am a happy bunny. Even though I am not a bunny, I am a python. Even though I do not come across as a python by any stretch of the imagination. Right, okay. Onwards. <gasps> Dungeon! Oh my god, I got it right first time! It's like a 50-50 chance, right? Holy crap, okay. Uh, yep, give me that. I am definitely taking the mana potions. They will definitely be useful. Right, now then. Will luck be on my side? Ladies and gentlemen, I have absolutely no idea. Of course, you saw me generate the world. I have absolutely no idea what is in this world, so... Okay, right, what do we got? We don't, we can't go down too far. That's one thing we do have to remember. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, none of that lot. Hmm. Come on, Terraria. I don't know how far down I can go, honestly. How far down? Uh. A dent. A dent. No, I can't go down any further. Guys, we haven't got the water bolt. Oh, no, this is a pretty unlucky start, actually. God damn. Hmm. Okay. Well, that is unlucky, isn't it? No sign of a water bolt. That means the first magical weapon we'll be able to get will be the staffs. And that, of course, means uh, doing a bunch of mining without the use of uh, without the use of melee weapons. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Kind of like how Ymir had to go through using no weapons at all until he had his first summoner item, right? God damn, I remember that. That was a pretty rough thing. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to do that, honestly. Not at this point, anyway. God damn. Right. Okay. That's certainly interesting. Right. I have no idea what I should do, in which case. I should probably go mining. I mean, maybe I should construct a house, right? Look at this. I've got 79 silver coins. I think it would be a good idea if I went ahead and made some houses. Indeed. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop down this row of trees... And then I'm going to flatten out this land, because obviously, you know, this is the bit I'm on. Is it a sort of raised bit? I could flatten it out. And then I can use sort of the spawn itself as the place for the village, I guess. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hmm. Can't believe we're about to try and survive our first night with the use of absolutely no weapons. That is pretty damn insane. I am not going to lie to you guys. I don't know if I can survive it. I think it might be a good idea if I, I don't know man, hold on a sec, if I just chop that down, if I go over here really quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a very temporary shelter. Oh, sorry Mr. Worm, I did not realise you were there my good sir. Right, okay, loads of wood, good stuff, that is, that is what I like to see. Right, oh god, here they come, the dudes! Uh oh, I need to be careful and rather quick about this, because not using weapons is something I don't think I've ever done before on my first night in Terraria, usually... I just go with a wooden sword, just go ahead and pwn the crap out of everybody. But, obviously that is something we are not allowed to do. Hmm, right, door! Yes, thank you very much, there we go, fantastic stuff. And torch, and torch, we need to put a chair in here, like so. Okay, and then of course we need some background walls. Let's use some of these really quick. There we go. Now, you know, it's just a temporary home for now. I do very much plan on uh, making more of an effort with the houses in this series. I want to make them look a bit unique, you know, so something just nice, I guess. But all I want to do right now is try and get the merchant and the guy to move in. The merchant, of course, will be very, very useful for buying torches. So, yes, that is the reason why I'm doing that. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, give me another door, table and chair, and I will be good to go. Sorry, Mr. Bunny. Did not mean to do that, friendo. Right. Thank you. Okay, so there appears to be no enemy spawning. Although, to be honest, I shouldn't say that because I'll probably wind up eating my words, won't I? Oh, hey there, good sir. Ah, he's moved in. Good, 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 
Good dude. What's your name? Tanner. Tanner. That's a cool name. You got a cool name, Tanner. You got a very cool name. Right, okay. And chair get placed. Table get placed. Ah, this sucks. I can't believe... <laughs> Not using weapons. Oh, stars. Yes, I should definitely go ahead and uh, pick them up. Mana is going to be very useful in this playthrough. Very, very useful indeed. Yep, there's another star over there. Very good. Right. Okay. But yeah, we've got our first two houses set up, which I guess is pretty damn awesome. Now, obviously, in order to make this one uh, valid, I need to put some torches in here. Right. Okay. That is it. Hmm. I need to try and make some Spelonka potions. That'll probably be the easiest, easiest way of trying to find the gems in order to make the staffs, right? Oh dear, oh dear. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I might just have to wait wait it out until it becomes daytime, my friends. I don't know, I might do a tiny bit of exploring in the nighttime just to see what kind of things we can find. Possibly. Uh, that That is very deep indeed. Holy mother of God. Okay. I didn't realise it was that deep. Holy crap. Oh my God! That is the corruption. Guys, that is the corruption right there. I saw the purple hue of the grass. What? The corruption is right next to freaking spawn. That is crazy. Okay. Can't say I've had that happen before. Well, at least not recently, to my knowledge. God damn. Right, okay. Right, give to me all of this. There we go. Right, and then we can get over the top. There we go. Good stuff. Alrighty. We have five chests. Oh, very nice indeed. There we go. And we'll have some more. Two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Will this still count as a house if I put these here? Because I know there's some restrictions. Not valid housing. Oh, it is ha It is valid. That's weird. It's like, it's like alternating, isn't it? Huh. Right. Okay. That's very interesting stuff indeed. But anyways, guys, I think I'm, I think what I'm going to do now is end the first episode right there. I think we've done a pretty good job so far. Oh, here comes the zombies, but luckily they can't get in because they're a bunch of dumbasses and they can't open doors at the moment because it's not a blood moon. <laughs> Lol. Sucker. Right, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more of the series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, guys, thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate your continued support. And I will see you guys in the next episode.